We're talking unlimited mulligans with Dave at the U.S. Open. Dave thinks he wins the tournament. I know I win because here's my logic. I'm going to shoot from the tee till I hit the green. And then I'm going to walk over. I'm going to putt till I get it in. You're only going to have six hours sort of to finish. They play in like five and a half hours anyway. So you're going to have to play nearly as fast as they play, but you're going to have to be hitting all of these mulligans the whole time. By the time you get to like... Uh, you know, a tough par four early on the back nine or something, and you only have an hour of daylight left, you're going to be like, all right, fuck it, we'll take a bogey here, we'll take that shot. Not to then mention, you're in you're, trouble, you're all of a sudden you start making big gassed. scores, you're out of the tournament. You're no. going to be gassed, and too. And you have... stink. That's the other <laughs> thing nobody's talking about. You're trying to say that you can just automatic birdie. You can't get off the tee. You, know, you yes, can't even hit the I ball can, in the air Rick, on the driving you range. you dummy. You think you're better than you are. You stink. No, you I agree. don't. You think right. I'm worse than I am. You, you stink. You agree. <laughs> you had one drive that almost hit your foot. All right, I'll take a mulligan. <laughs> oh, breaking. Speaking of golf, Riggs and I are playing. Oh. Are you doing, are you doing mulligan golf? We're playing at Shinnecock? the Shinnecock. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? I'm going to put Shinnecock, this super golf, tough golf course, in my back pocket with mulligans. My six iron pro, so you need a six iron. What do you have for a drive? Then you have just a smaller, like, um, Mizuno's? Mizuno's a good golf course? Mizuno's? Riggs was saying that's the one thing he thinks is going to go against you is that you're just going to like skull him over the green. Riggs hasn't seen, I, though I played, I, granted I haven't played since, when Riggs saw me I played so bad. Like, I hit iron normally, like a million miles in the air. I just couldn't hit anything, that was the worst I've ever played, I'm assuming that won't be the case again. Oh, it's a cake. Nice carry there, buddy. I'm so excited for this. When we talked about it, we said I would go from dawn to dusk. Now it's five no, hours. We said, no. into me. How much time do you have in between shots of the US Open? You have 30 five seconds. You, 30? you have 30 seconds, as many mulligans you can, and then you got to play your best. No, now you're making them. <laughs> making excuses already. I love it. Because I even carry that around. How many balls did you bring? Over 100. Shove this up Rick's ass. I can hear you. Just talking. swings terrible. Okay, fine. Parents? Your eyes are terrible. I know he's like, wait a minute. I had, I never seen him do that. So that's a looking bright, Rick. Now he's actually like feeling a little confident, so he's gonna actually try to do it and just get fucking roasted. Rick knows he's in deep trouble right now. I can hear you whisper. Yeah, I know. And this is probably planned. They probably got any golfer and they bring the Zimbabwe guy out to steal my mission. <laughs> I'm not even bragging. It's just these sport analogies. I'm the only one who gets it. It's like sometimes you have to put people in their place. I'm going to do that today, not for me, but for everybody who is a GoPress Go guy that knows when I say something can be done, it can be done. It's going to be close now, which I like. I like that it's going to be close. Oh, he's making he just changed. He's now he's now says going to get a little bit close. I think you're going to sniff 80 now. Before it was like 110. All I need to do is make solid contact every time, which I will. They may spray, but that's the beauty of the mulligan. The true mark of a champion is someone who walks into a bear trap and just fights their way out of it, which I plan on doing today. Yeah. Hey, Phil. Great. Where are we going? <laughs> that way? Yeah. Easy. 210. All right. Shoulders a little bit sore. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Mulligan. No, I don't want that one either. It's probably fine. What do you mean it's probably fine? Oh, there you oh, go. Great ball. Nice. Really nice. Unlimited mulligans, Tommy. These guys, by the way, Trap City, take the one in the mulligan. No fucking way. You know, he made contact, which is good. He's chirping, guys are chirping at him back, which I like. Parzi Alley's getting in his kitchen, like you should take that one in the fescue. I like that a lot. So we'll see. I think he's like 300 yards out, so. You, you brought in just people like talking yes. crazy. Par. That's a big par for him. I'm one huge par on one. Um, he's in the time limit. I mean, he played that in about 15 or 16 minutes. 
So, so he's doing well. Hardest hole on the course, they said. Par. What do you think was going to happen? Good one right there. Perfect. Taking that? Oh shit. I don't even need mulligans on this hole. Ah. That didn't work. That's I thought that I sculpted that. Alright. Par. Oh, they gave it to me. Even through two, Rig said I wouldn't be able to land a ball on the green. Uh, I almost hold out, so prove that theory wrong. Gotta get to one under, he's even par, we'll see. What'd you say I went 110? Is that what you said at shoot? said you won't win the US Open, which is you won't shoot you under par, which you're not under par. Get in the bunker. Why are you rooting for in the bunker? What does that even matter? Yeah, I do. That means safe? Really gave me the benefit of the doubt this. I mean, how much did you pay my caddy? This is a good thing I'm an athlete. All right. Good shot. Thank you. So we're there three, there's a par five. Let's go get a birdie. So Riggs, I gotta hit this to sure. somehow find that minus one. I wasn't planning on any birdies on par fives. This one's downwind. Do you guys just wanna give me, I mean, there's no way I'm not gonna hit that with unlimited shots. Not giving you anything. Okay. <sighs> Such a sore loser, that cross-eyed fuck. He said he wouldn't give it to me. So we just waste time doing this. Birdie. So we're minus one through three, and I am shoving these golf balls up everybody's asshole. I'm doing exactly what I thought I'd do. I said what I do, I do what I say, unlike some other people in this company, unlike cross-eyed people who don't know what they're talking about. I said I'd come dominate this course. I am dominating, I've used like one million, maybe two. Thing. Is that going? You lost it? Oh. I'll take it. I think he wasn't even trying to do this. I wasn't trying to brag. I'm like, of course unlimited mulligans you'd win. Riggs, no, you, you, no, no chance. Impossible. It's not over yet. Sometimes you gotta take them. a rag and you gotta shove it in someone's mouth. Oh, fuck. Perfect, in the fairway. Great shot. How's the shoulder feel, fine? Yeah. There we go. Thank God for the unlimited mulligans on that one. So now we're just waiting because we've caught up. We're playing so good that we got a group really? on the green. So anybody who says time constraint stuff, it's like we're waiting. I'm playing better than Riggs with or without mulligans. Nice uh, selfie, you girl. I'm doing a video, Riggs. I'm telling them how I'm minus one, and I'd probably be beating you straight up, actually. Nice selfie, girl. Ooh, hate to see that. That's hit right. All right. Great shot. Thanks. See, that's the thing about unlimited mulligans. I don't think you totally got. Like, I can just stay there till I do that. Time might be an issue. You think time's an issue again? I think it might be. How? Because you're starting to hit it shittier already. The tired yeah, of your body's getting, I'm, your no, arm, your no. shoulder's starting to fall out of its socket. No, I'm, I'm, that's not it. So you're starting to hit it shittier and more and more That's because again. that's a downhill lot. It's only the fourth hole. A lot of guys start out hot in the US Open, one or two under. Missed the cut by 10. I already know what shots I can't hit before I shoot them. Downhill lies. Yeah, I mean, your whole golf bag's over yeah. here in the pond. Look at this. These are all Dave Portnoy's over here. Look at Zod. Zod, man, get some balls. Oh, never mind, we're good. I mean, this is just like mini golf. Hit it now. Yes. It's a Team Portnoy mistake there. Oh, hate to see it. Great putt, never a doubt. Uh, so Dave's, Dave's one under, he's playing great. He's got a strategy, he's sticking to it. His body's losing it on the swing a little bit. He's getting tired, you can just feel it. You I'm not getting it. tired. I don't do well on downhill lies, which I could have told you from day one. He bladed like four into the pond right in front of him. Uh, didn't see that earlier in the round, so I think he's tired out, we'll see. Great shot. I mean, he's smiling, but he's so mad. You know how mad he is right now. It is just a matter of time. So Dave's hungry for a birdie here on the uh, tougher Dan seven. This is about his uh, 30th putt. Oof. <laughs> what a shame. Just take a par, you think? Nah, this has got to go in. I mean, there's unlimited mulligan. Jeez. Three more, then we got to roll. Why?
So that's so just so we know the whole thing's invalid because I have five hours, fifteen minutes. I'm getting kicked off. Hey, it's, it's up to these guys. These guys call. Just, not just just so you know, that's, that's not the rules of the turn. Not my call. Because I'm not even close to spending five hours and fifteen minutes out here. USGA kicked him off the green on the seventh. I love it. <laughs> it's great. So I mean, that, that putt, which was eventually would have gone in. They're like, oh, there's a group behind you waiting. I mean, there's nobody on earth who doesn't think I eventually would have hit that putt. That's good, right? How is this a good shot? <laughs> Why is it? Because it's in the mush. Good ball. Can I switch caddies? Maybe get, so I should have kept my team close. That's gonna get. That was bullshit that I took that. I, I, can someone else take my, like, I don't want that cat. I asked him, he said, oh, you're fine. He doesn't give a fuck, he just wants to get going. I don't know why I took this. Oh. That's a big par there, out of the fescue. Big par, it's like I should have never taken that shot to begin with. This seems like a very difficult hole. <laughs> it does. Great ball, Dave. Mulligan, Riggs? No, I don't want to slow you up, Dave. This shot, though, is like I'm wildly unpredictable. So that yet. Oh, that's it. There we go. Drop that thing. That's it. Good shot. Good putt. Hardest hole in the course, I said. Yep. Par. So we're through seven. I'm minus one. Asterisk, because I'm definitely minus two. I got kicked off on a very makeable putt, even though I'm way under the time restraint. Uh, but I'm doing what I said I was going to do. Again, go press grow. Don't get run over. No. Thank God we got unlimited mulligans. Great ball, Dave. All right. Good. Nice par. That didn't make it. Honestly, you just hate to see that. On Mulligan 24, just a little over. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm fucking killing the it's ball. Great, I don't know what to do. I'm hitting it square point. every time. It's good, I know. It's a really good point. This is the biggest hurdle for Team Portnoy so far. <laughs> that was a baseball strike. Oh, that's fine. I wish we didn't periscope that one. All right, so we're halfway through. Uh, thanks to the US, SGA, US Open, I said I could win this tournament on limited mulligans. A minus two, asterisk really minus three. Uh, again, great day for the GoPres Go crowd. I appreciate the support. Um, you know, never doubt a champion, Tommy. All right. All right, that'll do. So we played 10? We played 10, yeah. So we're at uh, two hours and 22 minutes. This is an interesting one. I'll, I'll take that. It'd be a nice putt to have. Great putt, Dave. Not though, not over yet. We'll it's over. It's I not mean, over. there's nothing this course can throw at me that I can't handle. Unless there's something that I don't know about where it's gonna be like, you gotta carry 300 water. But I don't think that's coming. Doesn't look like that's coming. No more water. What, what's gonna be befuddling to you, which I know would be to most people, and it's like maybe if you start practicing, is I only go back to like here. But I just explode with this triple crown NEC toy cannon in here. The what? Yeah, maybe look it up before you start talking. You all don't that have stuff. any muscles, you have like a child body. Do you see the thrust I have, Riggs? That's why, that's why I led the league in home runs, RBIs, and average. That was 40 years ago. Yeah, and what's happening now? <laughs> Unlimited mulligans. 
the winds are going to be whispering my name in three weeks. I don't think so. I think so. Tommy, maybe not stand directly in the way. <laughs> Just a thought. Beauty. Hang on. Yeah. Great part, Dave. Thank you. So we're through 12. Uh, rig's just got a nice bogey. But it's just for the kids at this point. Set your mind to it. When somebody says you can't do something, do it. And just be quiet. You won't hear me bragging about it. I knew I could do it. I would be a US champion, US Open champion, if I had unlimited mulligans, just like I said. Uh, so I look forward to seeing what the other guys can do, because I did what I said I could do. Oh, poor Za. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh man. I just. You hate to laugh at it, but I mean. That's tough. Beauty, Dave, great ball. Go get Zod, go, go get him, buddy. Maybe. Not very high. All right. Zod, how you doing, you all right? Good, I'm all right. boy. This is one that if we were truly doing the rules, I could have stayed here like all day. Take it. Should have, the, the one before is the one I should not have taken. Riggs, do you really need me to hit this? I'm just gonna try to hit, hit this one as hard as I can humanly hit a golf ball. Yes. That's the best you're gonna do. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but thought about how many people I've let down on my team to go press go guys and I just muscled up and I did it. My bag is sitting in the fescue. <laughs> your, ba <laughs> your bag's in the fescue, that's not a good sign. Riggs is a really good golfer and he would, like, he could get over the barrel. Get down. All right. There we go. What a hard hole. Actually, it's not the craziest putt of all time. Oh, oof. That's it. Wow. Great par. Thank you, Ricks. So I'm still minus two. Asterisk, really minus three. It's been a good round. Course record's minus five for one round, so I'm trying to get that, Tommy. I don't know if we'll get there, but so far, what do we got, four holes to go? I'd like to have my name on a plaque somewhere. There we go. That's got to be it, right? <sighs> Not a great effort. Take the three on that. I can live with this three. I don't think I could be here all day. <laughs> I can live with this three. That's got to be it. Yes. One time. Good part, Dave. It's a hard putt. <laughs> it looks impossible. I settled for a par. It hurts. My hands are like from just putting hurt. <laughs> you hit a lot of putts. Oh yeah, it's coming back around. Is that going too far left? Fairway's fine, yeah. It's fucking wise. Yikes. <laughs> I can't wait to tell these guys I'm minus two. <laughs> there we go. Be it. I mean, it's a bogey. What do you think, Frankie? Keep going. Oh. 
Oh, that is giant, giant moment there. Oh! That's the hardest part I've ever had in my life. It was not only a bear, it was the first time on the course. I'm like, I, I don't know if I can ever hit. Justin Thomas, I don't know if he's got those guts. I mean, I'm sitting out there, three balls left on a shot that I absolutely do not have in my bag. Best drive of the day, Dick. Perfect. Got a little gallery here for him. It's nice. It's all mental. That's what this game is like. No, I don't get tired. I, I, let, I tell my body when it can get tired, not yet. So we're minus two through 16. The last hole was the greatest amount of adversity I've ever faced on a golf course. I had a downhill lie, had to go up. Sun was setting, people were accumulating behind us. My caddy, oh, big gallery. My caddy said, you got three shots left in you, Dave. I had one that was playable, that most likely would have been a bogey. I turned to Frankie, I said, Frankie, should we take it? He goes, you only have three shots left. If you don't get it, we could be looking at double, triple, the whole thing shot. It's an old quote, Tommy. Larry Bird, wonder, uh, imagine the wonderful audacity of a man who needs two to win, three to tie, and says, let's roll the dice. So three shots, I said, let's do it. Put one, I don't know, 25 feet away, hit a big putt, still minus two. Sun setting, it's a beautiful day. We got the gallery. I'd like to maybe get a birdie if I can, but minus two would still put me well on my way to an easy US Open victory. It's actually minus three, because I got screwed. It's minus, minus two asterisks. Anyone who saw it, you'll see the tape. It's minus three. So it's been uh, a lot of golf. Though. That's like the Justin Thomases of the world who are weak mentally. They'll quit after 15, 16. Someone says, get in the bunker. You only get three shots. They quit. I don't. I just get going. Honestly, it's not even how far. It is how far, but it's like well, the undulations. That's a word for all you kids at home. That's the slope of the greens. Break. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tough. Minus two asterisks, three. Dave's looking good. He's two under. Three. So he's two under. Three. 260 par three. That's a little ridiculous. <laughs> Gotta be happy with that, right? I mean, 260 for a shot on the green. I'll, yeah, I'll take it. The bottom line, which I think Riggs will agree with, is the debate of unlimited mulligan me or anybody, if you can make solid contact, you're, you'd win the best. You'd win the US Open. There's probably a lot of people right now who want to see me fail who are just crying, like, oh shit, Prez did again. Not bad, drive that 260 green first try. I didn't hate that. Maybe send this on a regulation birdie. Too soft. It's too under. That was big. It's minus four, just like I said, Tommy. Minus four, just like I said. Unlimited mulligans. I told you what would happen. Riggs doesn't even shake my hand. Really disappointed. I haven't finished yet. Me but finish. I mean, I'm minus four. All right, fine, finish, finish. Yeah. 
big putt. Very round, Dave. Very Thank impressive. You. Thank Very you. Impressive. So uh, it was a great day. Thank you to the G USGA, the U.S. Open. Got to play Shinnecock three weeks. It's going to be here. Shout out USG USGA. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, I just said that. Uh, I was uh, I was wrong. I, you were dead wrong. Could have been more wrong about anything in your life, really. I was wrong. I was minus four. We're going to talk about it a lot on uh, the next couple days, I'm sure. But I did literally exactly what I said. I said it'd be minus four. It's minus four. You're minus three. I mean, not really. I mean, you're minus three. I mean, not really. I don't. Let's look at this semantics. Um, I proved what the number was. that if you're an okay golfer, solid contact, unlimited mulligans, you could win the U.S. Open. That's what I said. And by the way, the projected winner is going to be minus four. So like what I said, I would not only win the U.S. Open, I'd win by 12 strokes. Look, of course, it's it's not in the U.S. Open And here come the excuses. Condition. I don't like you know excuses. That. I'm not an excuse guy. Greens Just admit faster, that I did what I said. Firmer, I came. I, will I say, demolished this course. I, I ate it up. I terms, spit it out. And you won. You played great. Big. I won big. I thought you stunk at golf. I thought you were horrific based off of the evidence that I had seen, which you were horrific in that evidence. But you played great today. You played really well. I did what I said. It's a huge victory for Team Portnoy. It's a huge Huge victory for everybody who supported me. I just want to thank all, again, the USGA, and uh, it'll be fun to watch to see how the pros handle this course. I know the ins and outs at this point. Um, yeah, great day. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to win the US Open. Beautiful day. Congrats, Dave. Thank you, Riggs. Great playing. And uh, next all up, buddies. if Kawhi Leonard wants to see if I can score once without dribbling, I'm pretty sure I'd do that. These hypotheticals, I'm always right about. I'm always right about. I'm always right about. Always. You were right. I was wrong. Went to Harvard, I'm really wrong, I was wrong today. That's why I built the company and you work for it. All right.